This is a Game Caviar production. Not having in the Game Caviar Studios plan a, a new game for the channel. A game that may or may not stick around depending on how much this thing costs. This is Defiance. The beta was released recently for PlayStation Plus members like myself. Not a big deal, but I'm just saying, throwing it out there. Anyway, this is one of those, this is a third person online shooter, like an MMO type deal. And uh, this video is about seven minutes long. I'm going to go through my little uh, review process of it. Uh, first of all, this game is supposed to parallel a television series that will be airing on Sci-Fi, the Sci-Fi channel. Now, if you don't have cable, or you don't have Sci-Fi channel, or you don't care for Sci-Fi channel or the Sci-Fi genre, then that doesn't really... Uh, of course, that's not going to interest you, and it definitely won't be a selling point for getting this game. I, I think that with the push that is being put behind this, uh, the show is going to be pretty uh, popular. I don't know about the video game. Normally, when they make video games catered after shows and movies, they really suck. So... You can pretty much tell that if you have, like, uh, they had, what is it? I think the Lord of the Rings games were fair to mediocre. And they had a, uh, like, uh, the Avatar game was, eh, you know, it was okay. I played it. It was okay. But right here, I don't know whether it's just because of the beta or what, but every time you complete a mission, they come up with a little questionnaire. This game is really beta-like, Okay. I don't know when the game is coming out. Maybe next... The show is supposed to air next month, like the April 15th, okay? So, uh, after every mission, they give you that questionnaire and you raid and you can say whether you like that mission or whether, you know, you found something wrong with it. Like I said, that may just be because of the beta. I don't know. Kind of weird. Never had to do it before in a video game, but whatever. Now I'm going through my uh, perks or whatever. This is Cloak, and they have, a, like, a ton of them, like a whole list or sheet or page of them you'll see it in a minute i'm just getting uh uh used to all my powers and everything so i can press on with the missions you play as some sort of uh, guy with it's called an ego i forgot what it's called uh, of course every guy has an ego but uh this one allows you to have superpowers and the perks and everything that goes along with it that's part of the the ego um what an implant that you have in your body. Now, that female character that you're here talking is like my companion. She helps me out. Kind of like Cortana in Halo. You kind of see where I'm going with this. They took this game and they took cues from other games and they kind of mashed it together. The game that this reminds me of the most is Borderlands. Seriously. Uh, it's not a first-person shooter, but... As far as the mechanics of the game and like the critical hits, they even use the same uh, text font that they used in Borderlands. So it's it's uh it's really kind of it leans more towards Borderlands with a pinch of Halo, and the controls are similar to Call of Duty. So uh, we'll call this Borderlands with a pinch of Halo and a side of Call of Duty. Uh, from what I understand, there is no monthly fee to have this game. Like I said, it is an MMO. A lot of times when you have MMOs, there is some sort of fee associated with it. A lot of times people look down on these fees, especially people who play on consoles, because after you pay for a game, they, uh, they believe that you shouldn't have to pay on a monthly basis. But when you pay on a monthly basis, that, that cost goes towards upkeep of the servers and making sure that they stay up to par and I'm guessing you get some sort of perks or whatever. I don't know. I've never paid for an MMO. I've played a lot of free MMOs, but I've never paid for one. So uh, I don't know exactly what else you can, well, what else you get with it. If you play the MMO, please shed some light on that because I would like to know myself. I know part of the process, part of the the payment goes towards the servers, but I I, want, I need to know, or well, I'd like to know about the other half. As far as this game, like I said, it's no, it's being reported that there's no cost, and that also this game will parallel the storyline of the series. Now, 
I don't know. I think I'm guessing that this this new series is only going to be one show a week. My question is, what I'm wondering here, are you going to be limited to doing missions that only advance as far as the show has, or will you be able to play on in this game to where you can beat it and and not have to worry about uh, what what episode is on is shown on TV? It's a pretty good question. I don't think there's ever been a video game that parallel, paralleled a show that was airing on TV. If they cancel the show, is the game canceled too? I mean, these are the, just things that I have um, thought about. And uh, as far as this game goes, if it's $60, I don't see myself paying for it. If it's more like a... I would say 30 to $45 range, I would think about it. I don't really think that I'm going to buy this game, though, honestly. Unless I get it at a really good deal. And I mean a super steal. I don't... I, I, I don't I'm not feeling this. I'm not feeling the storyline. The lines, the interactions come off as bland and dry. Um, they, I was telling somebody on, on uh, PlayStation. They messaged me and asked me how the game was. I said, it's, it's pretty generic. And it is. I mean... Of course, it's based off a TV show and it has a storyline, but the storyline is like, it's things that we as gamers have seen before. This doesn't really bring anything new to the genre of shooters or MMOs for that, for that matter. So, I, I, I would say hold off on buying this game unless you're like a really big Defiance fan. I don't know how big their fan base is right now, but... Uh, if you're just looking for a new game or something and you have money to blow, I would not look to this game. I would look towards like Bioshock or Army of Two or Tomb Raider or something like that. But anyway, drop me a line. We'll discuss it. This has been Defiance Beta, PlayStation 3. I'm not having any Game Caviar Studios in a mouth. This has been a Game Caviar production. Like this video and subscribe for more.